Before we go any further, we're going to implement our avatar URL. And this is going to allow us to fill in these that we did in the last part. So we're going to be using Gravatar to pull in a user's avatar. This is a popular service which allows you to sign in, upload, and then you can have your avatar across lots of different sites. And lots of websites use Gravatar. So it's a really easy solution, but also effective because lots of people use it. So how do we output a user's avatar within this source within our user block? And remember, this is going to be used elsewhere on the site as well. So it's all reusable. Well, what we actually need to do is head over to our user model to implement a method for this. And this is going to be get avatar URL. And the reason we've kept it as get avatar URL instead of get gravatar URL is so we can change this later on if we want, and then it will just reflect uh, wherever we've added the avatar image. So how do we use gravatar then? Well, if we go over to this how to use gravatar section, you can see we've got a creating the hash section. Now what we do is we MD5 hash the user's email address and that will give us the hash that we can append to the URL. So if we go over to Gravatar image requests, you can see here that we've got HTTP, gravatar.com, avatar, and then the hash at the end here. And we're gonna be using HTTPS as well. So all I'm gonna do is copy this URL just here I'm going to go over to my method and I'm going to return a string and I'm just going to return that. But I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to change this to HTTPS. And in here, all we need to do is an MD5 hash of the user's avatar or the user's email rather. So we just say this email. It's as simple as that. So if we head over to our user block, I'm going to update this. So the source here. We already have each user object in here. So we're going to say user get avatar URL. And then when we head back over to chatty and we, we refresh, we see these uh, avatars just here. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to adjust here because first of all, we have this default uh, blue with the Gravatar logo. And it's also rather big. So we're going to change this to be a little bit smaller. So let's do that now. Uh, if we head over to our user method, uh, user model again, we can pass a few options to our Gravatar URL. We can set a default, so this is D, and I'm gonna do MM, which is mystery man. This is just a silhouette of a person, so it just allows us to display it in a nicer way rather than the Gravatar logo. And then what we can also do is add on a size. Now, obviously, you could customize this if you wanted to pass through a size property into this method. That's absolutely fine. But I'm just going to hard code this in for now, and I'll let you decide what you want to do with that. So now we have a nice small avatar. So that is how quick and easy we can set up an avatar for a user. And remember, because we're using this user block elsewhere, this will just be reflected everywhere we output it.